there, it's Mrs. Pierce. I wanted to say hello. It's already July 2nd. I can't believe it. But I wanted to reach out to those that follow my Pierce Math Music YouTube channel in case you got notifications. I thought this would be a great time to say hello. I uh, heard a great quote today. I was listening to Les Brown. He's a wonderful speaker. And he shared something. When I win, I win because of what I know. When I lose, I lose because of something I did not know. So I'm going to say it again. When I win, I win because of what I know. When I lose, I lose because of something I did not know. I think that talking about wins and losses is a good thing right now because it's summertime and we want to think about how we're using our time to enjoy the beautiful weather and to connect up with loved ones. That's really important. Sometimes you got to be creative, especially with all the COVID stuff going on. But there are ways that you can do it and there are ways that might even be better and easier than what you had done prior to the restrictions that COVID has upon us. We are doing different things in California. I know there are different rules and mandates that are happening in different places, but uh, I wanted to let you know that if you and your family happen to need fireworks, the Five Cities Optimists are doing a fireworks booth on 6th and Grand in uh, Grover Beach. So 6th and Grand, right at the end of the beach area before you hit the beach, 6th and Grand. We have a lot of flags out and we have a, uh, several signs that say, it's for the Optimist Club, and it's all about bringing out the best in kids. And I know that you guys can be wonderful ambassadors to people in your community also. Maybe you have younger brothers or sisters, um, maybe you have neighbors, but we're all about bringing out the best in kids. And some things that we've helped people pay for in the past are things that maybe the family was having trouble paying for at that time. For example, science camp. Uh, that's something that we do for the sixth graders when COVID wasn't happening. Uh, sometimes people want to play sports. Sometimes they want to be a part of a music program or a community program like 4-H. Um, we had already uh, an essay contest this year and we'll have more coming up in this next year, an essay contest and an oratorical a speech contest. And all of these things are funded by fundraisers where we get together with the community and we try to bring out positivity in the community. The optimists are all about bringing out the best in kids, but we also try to bring out the best in our community and in ourselves. So I want to inspire you and remind you to use your time wisely. Uh, if you haven't ever listened to TED Talks, you can listen to TED Talks. They're less than 20 minutes long and you can pick a topic and hear a TED Talk by somebody that has something wonderful to share. Uh, you have different people that you might be following in social media. Remember to follow people that you want to be like. Follow people that have good, positive messages. Look for good. Don't just spend your time and waste your hours with nothing positive to get from it. You are worthwhile. You are worth investing time in and you are worth helping your dreams come true. Figure out what you want to do like we did with the Consumer Math Project. I know not everybody had great success with that because we tried to fit it in with everything else. But if you didn't, or if you had any other lessons throughout this year that you had challenges with, go back over them. You totally can. If you did not have success, it's because you haven't quite learned that thing yet. But you can have success. Remember, fail forward. Fail often. And learn from those failures to get to the next level of success. Success leaves clues. That means you can look at people that are successful in doing things in wonderful, positive ways, and you can watch them and you can ask and find out what did they do to become what they became? Why did they do it? What helped push them when they were tired or um, feeling lazy? Everybody has times that they feel tired and lazy, everybody. But if you have something to motivate you, to push you to the next level, that is great. That is gonna help you. And if you can help other people motivate themselves, that's great too. During this time of COVID and social distancing, it's a great thing to share positives. I know that my friends often text me positive messages and positive activities and things that I might partake in. Um, 
if you have people sending you things that are not so positive, you may not want to pay very much attention to those people right now because they can bring you down. If people are not lifting you up, then you may want to decide not to put so much time and effort into that relationship. You want to use the time wisely to build positive connections. Uh, all the different things that we did, all the lessons that we did on Google Classroom this past year during COVID are still all available. All of the games like the geometry game, like the Ninja Turtle, those are still available. You can even research for yourself and find out things that you want to learn more about using Khan Academy. That's K-A-H-N. Oh, am I spelling it wrong? K-H-A-N. Now I'm going to do what I do. Khan Academy. And it tells me on my phone, it's K-H-A-N. I was forgetting for just a second, K-H-A-N. And Khan, uh, Sal Khan is just a wonderful person that was solid with his math. And his niece and nephew asked him for some help. And they somehow figured out, because he's a tech person, that he could record the lessons. And they liked that better because they could watch it more than once and review. And they didn't have to be embarrassed and ask their uncle again and again. They even showed it to friends. And that's how Khan Academy came about. So you don't know what wonderful seeds you have planted in you that you can add water to and help grow during this special summertime. But I promise, doing the same old, same old day in, day out, you're gonna realize, uh-oh, another three and a half months went by just like that, and it's just not gonna be so great. July is a powerful month. We just started July. We have the 4th of July where we're celebrating the independence that United States has enjoyed. And we're needing to figure out how to make sure that this country is embracing all the good things that it has and anything that's not so good, we need to fix it. And guess who we're counting on to fix it? We're counting on me and we're counting on you. There's nobody else. We need to do what we need to do. So use that inspiration to make sure that you're using your days wisely. Um, connect up using my old YouTube videos. You can connect with a friend. Maybe you have some friends from Paulding. I have no troubles with you sharing my YouTube videos with the Paulding kids and you guys can just be like, look at how silly my teacher is. I have no qualms with that. Share decimal dance. Share the, the new one about down, down, draw your line on the sign, draw your line. Anything that you think might be better to help people remember and connect and to feel like we care about you. I do all these things that I do because I care about you. I want you to feel positive. I want you to feel good about everything that you are doing. Um, use the YouTube videos, use the Google Classroom lessons to help share with people about how money works. We're still on this financial literacy campaign. We want everybody to learn how money works. And I've been spending a lot of good time this summer helping share that with families and helping them find solutions and making sure that people know what goes on with money because money is math and you can make good decisions and positive connections and not be afraid by just reaching out and learning more and more each day. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you. I like connecting with people and trying to have you share when I feel so positively and want to uh, reach out. So thank you so much. I might be at some point doing a live stream from my YouTube channel. I just found out that that's a possibility. I don't even know how to do that. And I might be doing that uh, from other social media. So I'm also pushing myself and trying to learn new things, lots of new things during this time. Take care. Know that I love you and that I appreciate you. And I want your dreams to come true. So figure out what they are and work toward them. Keep failing and fail forward. Keep learning from your mistakes, building and going on to the wins. Woo. Thanks. Bye.